hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl Jenna Fine you guys are welcome hey, hey, hey. Nobody but if you are new year and if you're not new year I appreciate you guys I really do appreciate you guys and I thank you for coming back to my channel and to watch this video so as you can see you guys you guys can actually see me a bit from my chest to my head you know all of my previous video you always see me just you know just the headshot just the headshot you know I'm getting bad at this you know just because I'm trying to minimize or maximize my space so you know that's why you always see me with my headshot but today it's a lot better as you can see I have my face bit on already oh, already as you can see that English as my face is already bit but I'm not finished yet this is just gonna be a high tutorial high look ish situation okay I have an announcement guys you know ooh, ooh. I think I've said it in my Instagram post about a month ago but now I'm gonna say it on YouTube I am now in Beauty Bay PR release I am so happy honestly i'm so happy i'm so grateful for that thank you beauty bay you guys are you know you're wonderful regardless of me getting products from there then i always shop in beauty bay every time to get my beauty product because some of them are across the world like in abroad so for me to get there it cost about a lot of money shipping and take long to deliver but we with Beauty Bay, they are literally sourcing those products from those companies. So all I just need to do, shop at Beauty Bay and get it delivered to me in less than a week. So finding out that I actually won the tagging when Beauty Bay was looking for like people. <sighs> Stop mixing me. Looking for people to you know be on the pair list, and I, I was so happy and amazed and surprised that I actually won it. So this has been over a month now. I was told that I was in the PR release until was it last week or so? Yeah, until last week I got email like, oh, I'm expecting a package. Really, I didn't order for anything, so I assume it's my new PR product. So I received my package in the mail, and I got uh, two items in it you know I'm not gonna say you have to give me everything you have not really you know it takes time you know with time in every delivery that's where probably I build my um, my kids or build my collection from this today but yeah so the package I got are a high shadow um, as you can see this is the going out out 42 color palette and also this is my first time, uh, like first, very first time of ever using or purchasing or having or honing a Beauty Bay brand makeup product. First time. So I've not used that product yet. I don't really know how it feels on the face or how it works. So I'm pretty excited, you know, put this to text today. And I also received the second high term. This is the Leaving My Best Light um, Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow. Uh, I, I've seen this a lot on social media. I think this is the uh, new um, edition or new launch. And it does, it's not really expensive. This is £6. And I always want to get this because this is affordable. And the liquid crystal eyeshadow like this, the first painting that ever created this was this Stila, Stila Cosmetics. So, I don't really have that I think that cost 23 pounds so for Beauty Bay to come out with their home brand and six pounds it really worth it so I only got one from the PRO kit and I um, will be purchasing other colors myself so I can't wait to also try this today um, I've brought out this um, makeup from their packaging and voila yeah it's a palette so beautiful you got it this is not so beautiful i'm not gonna say i'm disappointed you know me i love myself a matte matte you know eyeshadow matte thing for doing all the creases and the um you know blending so this is a matte sorry so this is a shimmer palette 
honestly like i said i'm not disappointed but i'm still grateful Oof, okay so this palette is actually really really large it's wide but it's not long so yeah and it's bulky too so i don't know if that is my thing of a bulky palette so you, you know yeah so it comes with a mirror i like it and it has a little the sleeve or pamphlet or information or the layout of this palette and as you can see this palette this is gorgeous this is gorgeous this is Oshima palette so they have four matte shades you can use this matte shade as just a blending out shade so the matte shades are each size of this palette so there's matte at the first matte here matte here and matte here and the rest of this is the rest of the shadow you see is all shimmer shadows this is bigger than my forehead i actually love the color honestly i just love the layout and i'm attracted to color so i don't know what i'll be doing today so it says the top this one is a butter matte it's a base transition shade um using making like transition and blending out shade and the five layers top of this shadow are all duochrome i haven't tried a duochrome eyeshadow yet so hmm, i thought as much when i was looking at it like they have a funny color so they're all duochrome and this is also a butter matte this one here and it's also a base for transition and this next row are rainbow metals they are 33 I pigment shade in a range of super bright blue, purples, and pink, along with classic rose gold, silver, bronze, and copper tones. Like the rest of the 33 shades, you know, they are all like a rainbow metallic uh, shadow. Also comes with a step of how to use this shadow like really like number one create a base and dip, dip in the crease using a butter mat for from the four corners of the palette two build a bright smoky look by blending on your chosen rainbow metal from the middle of the palette three layer over a dual chrome chameleon topper from the top of the palette to transform the look maybe that's what i'm gonna do today because i had in mind do my normal eye base look i might not use all of this matte that comes with this palette just because they are not versatile a lot enough for me but i would do try my best i'll use another palette just to give me a, a kind of like a crease shade shadow base and then i will go over and play with the shimmers and the metals in this palette and i'll definitely try the dual chrome because it says i should but i was gonna try this um liquid crystal um what's to call it eyeshadow but probably this will be in another video but i'm just probably gonna show you guys how it looks nice look like i really like it so yeah that's it for this palette it's very beautiful 42 color and yeah so I'll work with it, I'll work with it what I have. So let me just show you through the palette. So obviously guys, I cannot swatch all of this shadow for you guys. I really can do that. They all they all 42. I can only swatch like two of my favorite. Okay. I'm gonna swatch the um door chrome and one of any pigments of the metal shadows and also swatching the um liquid crystal eyeshadow so this is connecto this is from the dual chrome shadow sorry not connect sorry that is confetti so i just swatched um a dual chrome shadow and it's called confetti so i'm swatching another shadow from the metal eyeshadow and that is called fireworks it's really nice a bronzy gold oh this is a really a uh, matte shade one of the four mattes that comes with it very pigmented and dark it's actually black and it's called ang over and lastly the uh, liquid crystal eyeshadow oh if you can see this it's really really shiny liquidy very well wet if you look at it one way it's pink if you look at another way it's blue if you look at another way it's green so this is really nice 
so these are all the shadows that I swatched from the palette and the liquid eyeshadow. I really do not have to swatch everything, guys. The whole 42, you know, this is gonna take my time. If you want swatching on this palette, you can leave your comment below or do another video. But if you don't want, there are also lots of video online that they swatch this palette cells. So go watch that. To start our eye tutorial, I'm just gonna bring you guys closer. And then we'll begin. <laughs> come close, come, come, come close. Now you guys are closer to my face. Um, uh, I decided to do my eyebrows outside the camera. Why do I keep saying outside? Yes. And um, I kind of like the hybrid for today. They kind of look like twins. Don't you see them? They look like twins. Yeah. At a point, I might have my headphones. I might have my headphones on my head listening while I'm watching and why you guys are watching me so I will be using the uh, blah 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 so I'll be using the Muffy as um, James Charles uh, palette just because it has that matte magic that I like I'll use it as my transition blah. I'll use it as my transition base on my high lid before I go over to our beauty bay palette okay so before i begin i'm just gonna prime my high lead and i'll be using the uh p lewis base in room one number five little bit can go a long way and you know this um, eye primer is a very wet consistent so it's good at blending eyeshadow but not so much when you want to do a cut crease because it's so wet so i'm just gonna put a little bit and make sure I blend it to my eyebrows because I don't want to put it up close to my eyebrows because it's going to make it look summer or rough. And I go over with my blending brush to actually blend this out. First of all, I do a tapping motion. Tap, 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 and down again and blend it upwards. Blend the primer is really nice when you actually take your time to actually tap and blend. Look at how it's coming out. So beautiful. Guys, look at the magic. The magic of blending. I just like doing that. <laughs> and it took forever blending. But it's good to blend your eyeshadow and your eye primer. That's how you have a nice flawless base and flawless look for my um crease base i am gonna be using this shade called 10 paint scent off that's my crease i blend my crease out I'll be using next this shade called Cordy James just to blend out the ten percent off on my crease. So next, I you know decide to. I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Matte Shadow. Um, I'll be using the shade called Access All Areas. It's a really nice um, nude shade for like a Bravo highlight. And this will help me give me a transition bra Bravo highlight. Just going to put it here. So this um, shadow is actually um, falling out, like there's a lot of fallout. So I'm just going to take my powder just to apply to the areas I think the shadow is going to like, you know, mess up my makeup. So I'm just going to go over with um, the shade I was using earlier on for my crease just to actually make them blend all together. I'm gonna use the shade called Angova just to actually dip in my crease and this is a really dark black shade mm -hmm. 
very nice matte black I'm really confused about um, what um, shimmer or metallic she used for my eyes because it's so pretty and so beautiful. Can you help me, guys? I don't know. I'm definitely going to use the monochromes because they are really, really attracting to me. But I don't know what shade should I use. I am going to do what I'm going to do and we'll see what shade i'm gonna land up to but first of all i am gonna cut my crease i will be using the urban decay high primer potion to cut my crease and this is an eden this is a really good primer because it dries out matte So, sorry, I didn't forget you guys for a minute. Um, I had to do a cut crease, but I didn't do it like, like cut crease. Okay, so cut crease. I did a half cut crease in the way the outer corner is still like slightly blended in with the shadow, but the inner one is where we're gonna focus in. And I'm just gonna take my brush, any brush I land on, that will be the shade I pick. So, la, 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 la. I'm gonna go with this pink actually, this pink called Main Staged. I'm gonna put it in the middle of my lid. Um, I don't know if it's pigmented or not, but. And the next shade I want to use. Uh, the outer corner is called what a tune Ooh, and I am gonna play with the monochrome and I feel like cutting confetti because confetti is like you know the close to that pink I had on but I might go with plus one. Plus one is a little bit greenish, goldish, you know, that kind of color. This is a third shade I'll be adding. This is called plus one. And this is a dual chrome. Where am I getting monochrome from? A dual chrome shadow. And that will be on my inner corner of my eyes. It looks green. And it's actually falling out. And Okay, I wanna try and apply confetti dual chrome on top of my main stage pink. Let me see. Uh, okay, it's giving me a, <coughs> a light pink version. Ah, um, okay, that's how it works. Dual chrome, yeah. Oh, ooh, look at that. To actually blend out the edges i am gonna go back with angova to actually box that in and blend it out maybe the brush i'm using is not a really good other idea but yeah okay Yes. Ooh. So guys, I'm gonna go over to finish this eye look, apply our lashes, our mascara, finish our face look, and we're gonna come back and talk about this palette right here. Okay, and I'll see you guys in a jiffy. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back. I know I took a long while just because I just went like you know, I was watching my movie and I was like I also need to perfect this look, you know. I then went ahead. Uh, I then went ahead. Uh, is that correct? 
I then went ahead to finish the look with a mascara yes I did apply lashes no name brand lashes a eyeliner um, the black one and a glitter liner on top of where I cut the crease you yeah, know yeah. apply my highlight I was wearing a ombre matte liquid lipstick so I just had to apply a bit of lip gloss because I just felt like you know I got a crack clips you know I don't want that none of those crack clips and those mats to be showing so this is our finish I look guys and what do I think first of all my makeup today is gold it's beautiful I like it if you don't I don't know what you do with your life but I do like this look um obviously it's not uh, a new thing the cut craze it's been done over and over again it's one of those classic simple look you can ever go for but really i really ha like how it came out you know although my eyes is all dead but you can still see the cut crease shadows and it's lovely you have the dark chrome i don't know if it's green you have the pink you have the green which look like blue i you know it's a bit smoked out with a liner it's actually beautiful I like it Um, I don't know about you so yes uh, what do I take uh, first of all thank you Beauty Bay I really appreciate it and I can't wait for more products from you guys you know I'm looking forward to that um yeah so this palette ooh, look how gorgeous it is uh, my impression I like it but it's actually bulky I don't know why do you guys spend enough money in terms of packaging so bucket anyway before that I like the concept I like the packaging is very galaxy to me this is very neon um, packaging you know like a, when you go to club thing yeah yeah neon issue galaxy packaging I really like it kind of simple but not so simple it's creative free and vegan which is really nice this, these days just everyone is embracing vegan I really don't know what's going on few years ago there's something there's nothing like that one thing I think about this palette is like whenever you want to have a shimmer look this palette is goes because most of the time if you do an eyeshadow look you can either just finish it with a matte look but especially if you're doing um people's makeup like marriage or wedding or like you know occasion out there and you do their makeup we always try to finish the eye look with a shimmer because that gives the heart a whole different mini you know so that's why i really like the shimmer because i have range and lots of colors to work with i can decide to go with bronze pink brown nude very versatile shimmer i really like it i've got i've got I, 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 I have all the palettes that do have shimmer in it. I do have Morphe palette that has whole of shimmer in it. I think along the way, you know, a company grows, the better the pigment is. I can say this pigment is actually better than the one I do have. Mm, is it, the, the, the shadows are blendable because I did work with two or three shadows right here. They are blendable I, and on my crease, really, really nice. Thumbs up for that. The shimmer are blendable as well. You can see when I blend the pink into the green, you know, and vice versa, very blendable. So I like it. It's just pretty, just pretty. I can't get over the colors. I just feel like I could just be wearing makeup every day, but it's not always that the case because I have time, I have schedule, I need to be out, I need to go to work, I need to do this. Like now, this video just took me effing three hours, even not more than to do apart from that i was just watching my literally laser so maybe yeah i can say that i am happy and i can't wait to play with this more to do more looks with this and guys if you do want to purchase um this palette you can get a 10 percent off code i am gonna leave the code down in the description down in the description box below i don't know if it's been hot for a long time or this is a new launch for anyway it's good i like it my first impression is good not because i receive a pr package don't get me wrong just because i see or i like what i see so i saw a beautiful palette i didn't like it because it's bulky but inside the matters inside the, the the shadow are pigmented they're beautiful they're blendable colors is very versatile why not um 
yeah so this is our finished look our finished makeup i'm just gonna zoom myself in more to see my hair look so you have it so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like like why not you know let me take you guys back i think you guys are too close enough go back back how about that how about that now so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up yep yeah. Give it a like, but if you didn't enjoy this video, um, I don't know what you should be doing, but you still need to give it a like. Why not? Oh, I don't really know what you want to do then. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more looks from this palette, leave your comment below. Either way, I'll be doing it in the future. And don't forget to like, watch my previous video and come back for more. And on to then, guys, I'm going to see you in my next video. So take care of yourself and be nice to all this. Did I do it well? I don't know. Peace out. Okay, I don't know. This my peace out. On today, guys, I'm just gonna peace out. So I don't know where I stand because I actually do know where I stand. Where I stand is I don't stand with you.